French music, it's Derive by Pierre Boulez, set against a typical English landscape. It may seem an odd combination, but somehow it's fitting for a film which celebrates the work of an English musician within the context of one of his creations, the summer music school at Dartington. Throughout a long life, Sir William Glock has been committed to exploring the new and to expanding our musical horizon. Well, I remember sitting at lunch with um, Lord Pilkington, who was then doing an inquiry into the BBC, and he suddenly said to me across the lunch table, what is it you want to give your BBC listeners? And without, without, without thinking a moment, I said, what they would like tomorrow. Uh, and this is another way of saying that it's just as important to create new expectations as, as to satisfy the old. And that I believe in passionately. William has played a very important part in the contact between the audience and new music. In my opinion, he changed the whole face of English music. My life changed completely one foggy Sunday afternoon. I heard the posthumous A major Schubert Sonata and then Beethoven Opus 111. And I'd never heard any playing like that at all. There was such a visionary quality that the piano seemed to disappear. It was no longer an accomplice, but a medium. It was Artis Schnabel. And I thought, well, I've simply got to go and study with this great musician. I think if I look back on my life, there were once or twice quite unexpected events which, which changed it. One was that foggy afternoon in Oxford, hearing Schnabel. Another, connected with it, interestingly enough, was suddenly being rung up in December 1947 and being asked if I would be the director of a new summer school, which uh, a man called Gwyn Jones, a friend of Schnabel's, proposed to start. The summer school has been operating for 40 years now. In this anniversary year, Sir William Glock has been invited to give master classes in chamber music. The chosen music is Beethoven's Archduke Trio. Can I, can I just ask you one thing? Do, do you play that um, third quartet of the third bar? Do, do you play the B flat as well as the A? No. Ah, I thought I didn't hear it. Well, why not spread it very cleverly? Because it is there. Um, try, try this once more. Well, that wasn't very cleverly, was it? That, that, That's about as clever as I can that be. Was a, that was like a popular song. Uh, no, it has to be very quick. Still a little bit too much pedal, I think. I know how difficult. If you can't do it now, you'll go and think about it later. Yeah. I think every generation one needs to reassess perhaps the greatest works of art. But Schnabel still stands as, as something, not something that can't be superseded, but something that stands. Dartington continues the notion of re-examining performance style. This is a young Venezuelan group, the Rios Reña. They're being coached by a Sigmund Missal of the Amadeus Quartet in music by Mendelssohn. <laughs> I 
I think I gained from Berlin a European outlook, which uh, hasn't left me, didn't leave me. Good. And also from Schnabel himself and from these other experiences, a standard of music making that I've tried to hold on to. At the core of these master classes is a devotion to the Viennese classics, developed in those years with Schnabel. That's a horrible symmetry. And what you did was this. This is much better. But don't, don't overdo it, but I, I like that. I just want to say that I liked it, that's all. <laughs> There's a famous story also of Schnabel, of a concert girl, a woman concert girl, who had never heard him, and said, Mr. Schnabel, are you one of those pianists who plays with feeling, or do you play in time? Oh, yeah. He said, Madam, I feel in time. <laughs> to the casual observer, Dartington could seem out of time, a kind of elegant and surreal house party. In fact, the summer school buzzes with an intense and various music making. Follow you? Yes, I'll follow you whatever you do. So be free with the esposito, that's all. Right? I'd already told myself towards the end of the years in Berlin, or reminded myself of Nietzsche's remark that one does one's teacher little honor in remaining only a pupil. And uh, that one somehow had to take in as much as possible from Schnabel, but also find one's own way. Same there. That's getting better.